And we're back. Welcome back, one and all, to the Super Mario 246 Relay. I'm King J04, and today I hear I have here with me. <laughs> You've changed your eight. The claps. You got the claps. I got to clap for my intro. And we also have the two runners, Video Game Master 22, as well as Retro Reviver for Part Two. And we're back in Mario 64. Just so you know, I was not prepared for that intro. <laughs> You, can tell. you wanted it too. I wanted to because I thought I could be smooth, but you get guess, guess what? I couldn't be smooth. Smooth moves. Could, nope. I couldn't make it fly. I I wanted to sound like a game show host, and did it work? Probably not. Uh, I don't know. Plus, you also, plus you also sound a little bit tired. Uh, it is died 2 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Just the best shift. I don't know who records at 2 a.m. I never record at 2 a.m. Oh, the score, the Christmas score right now is 21 to 35. Ish. 20. 20. 20 to 36. Oh, I think. oh. oh you we, just got a new one. Oh, okay. we just got a new one. Okay. So, alright. So, last episode, um, Team Rackle Race just has a, uh, had a very significant lead. And, well, right now, as of right, as of right now, it may. It, it, um, as as we already said, um, multiple times before, it may seem like the, it may seem like that the, that these players that, that that the gap is very far apart, but there is so much there's so much game left in this race. Not yeah. to mention, Mario 64 stars are the shortest stars in this real Yeah, yeah, Mario 64 is the shortest game. Is the shortest game out of this out of the whole series. Getting ready oh for Lord. Resident Sleeper. <laughs> Resident Sleeper. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Video Video Game Master is in um, is in Dire Docks, which is very uh, it is one, very in sweet. my opinion the hardest the hardest course to do in 100. percent mainly because of the, the 100 coins. But thankfully we don't get to see that. Hopefully. Okay. Hopefully, unless hopefully. Somebody's ballsy, unless somebody's ballsy enough to do that. Who who feels like they really want to cry right now? <laughs> <laughs> No, but thanks for the uh, Come on, BGM. Do it for the uh, meat. Hey, remember on the 602 when I did that? Oh, yeah, you yeah. have to, to, like, ground pound the four pillar. No, you don't ground pound them. You have to just you beat just the pillars. Yeah, first. You just have to ground pound them. Yeah. yeah. yeah the me. pillars are a lot better in the DS version. We don't talk about the DS version. <laughs> we don't talk about it. Wow. <laughs> So we'll talk about I was I was thinking about implementing uh, SMC4 DS into this, but uh, I, was, I got outnumbered. So. Oh no, you're gonna make me do math. Wouldn't that be the Super Mario 2? 326. Okay, thank you for math. There are 80 star. You have to get 80 stars to beat the game. Thank you for mathing me. I can I can do it. Yeah, just make me do business to I should be better at math. <laughs> My swimming no. is not very good right now. Then it's all camera angles for the swimming. Yeah, well, so yeah. for Retro, he's gonna have to do some lag reduction strats if he knows how to do them. I would say no. BGM doesn't have to worry about them because he's playing on Wii Virtual Console. Hey, I don't get the lag, but I get the ridicule. <laughs> <laughs> Emulator version SMC4 is, le is less lag here. It's bro, so it's not, it's not very, it's not too, that much significant that that he'll get some Indian lag. All right, so Real, which is really mean, weird because emulator versions of of games are, are typically not supposed to have an over original console. So in order to swim optimally with Mario 64, a lot of people when they first try to start to play this no! game, they tend to mash A, but you want to time it uh, rhythmatically in order to swim well. Yeah. That's true. You're gonna have a what party to see what happened to me. What? What was I that? I just missed the, um, I missed the boss. The, uh, entrance to the boss room in, uh, Pet's cell. Oh. No. Oh, you're funny. Hand boss. Okay, that's it. That's it. It's a very, I never really heard of this route. <laughs> so, I mean, it's all different people use different routes. Ooh, that's a missed wall jump. So, uh, uh, hand boss, in my opinion, is a complete joke. 
I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're, I don't know. I guess. I guess the way I've always fought, fought Ham Boss, it's all. It's always made him a complete joke. He's so. definitely the longest boss fight, though. Yeah, you have to I hit him a total. Of you have to hit him a total of six times, uh, which is the most hits in a, any boss fight in this game. Three on each hand. There are five boss. There are five bosses in this game, which I don't think we'll be seeing all four. Of, all five of them. Actually, well, I guess there's technically four like mini bosses. Yeah. Not counting Bowser. Yeah. There's there's Bob Bomb, there's Womp, there's Hand Boss, and there's Wiggle. Yeah. And I guess and to a degree the Chain Chomp. There's also Bully. Name. I don't think I don't count Bully as an actual boss. Oh. Hold Bully. You heard him speed. The time currently is five <laughs> minutes and uh, forty seconds. I can't believe I missed early cycle. Like... All right, so VGM's on. IRC right now, which is a very movement intensive stage, you want to get a really good cycle along with red coins. It's ridiculous. Alright, I have all the. It's, it's easier to make and if you're not going for reds, but it's easier to go for reds. If you go for full uh, glitch, VGM. Um, I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> zero A present. <laughs> is that actually possible? It, is there some levels that are possible with zero A presses? Oh my god. Most of them. Yeah. So, That's ridiculous. to explain what we were talking about with, uh, with what I was talking about just there with pull glitch, in Fire C there was a glitch recently found about two years ago uh, called pull glitch where you would just, it's an up warp which aren't commonly found in Mario 64 and it saves basically around two, about, about three seconds and it guarantees an early cycle. Oh, there! Yeah, I heard someone throw Bowser. Um, um. Bowser is uh, uh, Fire Seed Bowser. While he's while he's like one of the most easier Bowser throws to get to get, it's it's also super punishing if you miss it uh, because what happens is throw. He didn't go off the edge. Because what happens is um, Bowser will fall off. He will then come back up, and he will. Flip the, flip the battlefield around, and it and it's annoying. Um, in the in dark world, in dark world version of Bowser, he like stuns you if you're on the ground. But um, this time, he just flips the battlefield, which is really yeah. annoying. When he flips the battlefield, you usually lose about 10 seconds or so. Yeah, well, typically, typically when you when you miss a throw, it's it's around 12 seconds. It's, 12 seconds lost if you throw him off the edge, but Fire Seed is it's a lot more. It's probably, yeah, like an extra 12 seconds to that 10 seconds already. Yeah. So VGM's now entering Wet Dry World, which we actually get the 100, 100 coins in as well. Yeah, also, also, he le also this, may not, this might not make any sense, but he re enters Fire Seed and leaves the course, so he spawns in the lobby faster. Save and quit. It's a excellent save. Yeah. I just died in um in volcano. Oh well, oh, well dying in volcano is not that not that volcano. big of a deal because you spawn in volcano anyway. Yeah. Oh. Any um any uh course that has like an extra like level inside it creates like a checkpoint, which is really cool. Yeah. There's not very basically LOL Except... and shifting sandland. Yeah, there's not a lot of checkpoints in Mario 64, unfortunately. Yeah. So having those having those spots is really good. Somehow, Kukul Mountain doesn't do it. Yeah, Kukul Mountain does not have a checkpoint. Tiny Huge Island doesn't have a checkpoint either. Uh, Secret Secret Waterfall, which is really dumb, does not have a checkpoint. Uh, Tulsa Mountain does have one though for the slide. Yeah. But we won't be seeing the slide, I don't think. No, we won't, unless players really want to show it up. I mean, it's a nice yeah. slide. Yeah. There's a super easy way to get the slide start if I'm actually going on the slide, and we'll probably see it from PM in the middle of this episode. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, that's it's so good that, that they barricaded it in the DS version. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so, it's so easily known. I feel like the but they're still but they but they were really smart that they didn't realize that you could still go through the barricade. DS uh in the DS version you can go up to the top of the mountain. <laughs> and get 
a flower it's power. It's so good. Turn invisible with Luigi and go all the way down. Sure. I mean, hey, that's a complicated setup. No, it's actually really easy. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's okay. the first time. Yeah. The first time, yeah. It'll work so, place, points, which I will be paired together with the secret star, uh, and most people will still do this in 120 whenever they do it. Yeah, in 100, percent it's like it's only 12 seconds slower, but it's safer because um, doing it doing it with the red coin star in 100 percent is really hard. Um, you have to get the right amount. Precise. There's a really precise way to get to the town to get to do it with the red coins, um, and even and even if you get it, you have to have the right. You have to be really fast at it. Otherwise, then you're not saving 12 seconds. Oh, so I would like to mention we have 20 minutes left. Yeah, we have 20 minutes left. So let's go. Ahead, let's go ahead and 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 see how many stars the players have. These guys are focusing. <laughs> They're in, they're in serious time. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. And I think VGM's doing hundred coins right now, so he's kind of focused. Oh, I yeah. finished hundreds a while ago. Forty-four. Forty-four. Okay. Twenty-eight. Four top of the so town. Kind of the same gap as we had before. Yeah, but it's getting it's getting wider. A little bit wider. Again. Coming up, we but, have... do, but do not worry, ladies and gentlemen. There's still a lot more to go. Yeah, Mario Sunshine is projected that the gap will lessen the wide get narrower. Yeah. All right. So after uh, Wet Dry World for VGM, we're going to be seeing Tiny Peach Island, which has a pretty scary jump in it for the Secret Star at the very end. It's free. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, but, um, you, sometimes you can just miss time it a little bit, and you can fall right off. But anyway, we have uh, the upstairs. We have the upstairs levels. Uh, the upstairs. The upstairs levels are really. Um, they're, in my opinion, they're the most. They, they, is when is when the run starts getting really interesting because, yeah. like, after doing lobby and basement for quite some time, you it's, it's it gets really boring. And the upstairs have some, some of my favorite stages. No, notably, no, notably, uh, uh, my favorite core is coming up pretty soon after BGM is done with Wet Dry Roll, which I I don't I don't understand I don't understand this, but every single person I've talked to about Mario's Core hates Tiny Huge Island. I don't hate yeah, it. I, I just dislike it. <laughs> I, I like watching Tiny it. Huge I Island don't. Is good. My favorite upstairs course is Wet Dry World. I love THM. Tiny Huge Island has a very unique has a very unique concept where you're going from Tiny Island to Huge Island and vice versa. In addition to that, there are two different ways you can enter the level, which is also really good. Um, so there are missions where you can work your way between big, big and small. So it's it has r some really unique concepts. In I I just am bad at executing. That's the thing. Yes, but uh, these guys will be. Uh, but um, if you want to save the most time in Tiny Huge Island, you want to enter the small island always, uh, yeah. unless you're doing a really, unless you're doing a really hard route that does Tiny Huge Island reds. Uh, but that route is extremely hard, and you enter the big island if you're doing Tiny Island reds. I'm doing the jump. Now. Okay, the jump. jump. Let's see if he gets it. There have been times where many people have choked the jump, and it is always very embarrassing when you... Yeah. You lose a lot of time because you have to get all the secrets again. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I decided not to go for it because I remember being <laughs> big and... <laughs> Dang, okay, <laughs> saving it out. Not not a bad decision. Not, that's... You, you go safe to yeah, save some wrong. time, so... Go big, go home. Go he big, decides go. to go home. <laughs> Go home, DJ. Yeah. I'm going home. Thank you. I'm going. Thank you for giving Twin Galaxy Twin Galaxies a win. <laughs> yup. It's all I need. Mean, yeah, a whole five seconds. Do you need to know what? I don't even know what I've done since the uh, there's a really uh, as soon as you get the uh, fish seeker, which is, which would be on the very top of the island. There's like a really precise slope jump oh, to get to one. where the where the star is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uncomfortable with the I'm few frames of light. What? 
How many co coins are in the volcano? How many coins are in the volcano? Oh. 20. Ooh, is he getting 100 coins? Yeah. Yeah, if you come in the volcano with 80 coins, there's 20 coins in the volcano. So that's really good. Also, we are halfway through. We're exactly 15 minutes right now. We get yeah. Have either of those runners touched Snowman's land yet? Uh, no, VGM no. will be doing that after he does Tall Tall Mountain. Maybe I'm thinking of the 100 route. Can I also say that both the runners also did one of the hardest stars down in the basement, which is the Toad Star. <laughs> and, uh, that requires me press. You get all three. You get all three of them, and, and there will be another toast there coming up pretty soon. And it's I, I can't. I can't. Game. I, I can't fathom enough ice. how many times I've lost runs to the toad. Guys, I can't believe my mistake, man. I'm shaking. I can't believe I got the toad star first. Is that? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. I have fifty. Yeah. Okay. You have fifty. So are you heading to Tall Tall Mountain now? I think. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so you got the toast. You got the scary star with nice. I know. I'm shaking. I can't believe I got it first try. <laughs> <laughs> all, all he has to do is press B, but the timing is precise and it's pixel perfect. So. You can't really. Yeah. You can't really talk to NPCs very easily in this game. Now, you, now, most of the time, you'll end up punching them in the face. Now, yeah. tall Thankfully, tall they fixed that in DS. Now, Tall Tall Mountain has the with the water where it needs to be up high. Yeah. Tall Tall Mountain is extremely broken. So at the it's very beginning, even more, it's even more broken in DS. So I wonder if VGM is going to be doing this trick that he recently just learned uh, for this relay, which is the box jump. Oh, he just did it. So the box jump, uh, if you look towards the wall and you bounce off the wall with the box and hold left until the very end when you hold right, you can bounce to the Lonely Mushroom. There is a way where you can long jump from the top to it, but it saves uh, six seconds doing it the box jump way. Yeah, I died on it one time. You died on it once, dang. Which I forgot, does I happen forgot to runners. The box. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's precise, but yeah. it's but it feels really great going for it though. It's good when you practice it and you get a count. Time. 52, nice. What, what you the normal way you're supposed to get that that star is from a really precise cannon shot, oh which I hate so much. Until I used to hate that star so much because of the cannon shot. Until I learned a way to get it without the cannon. What's your star count right now, Retro? Thirty-two. Thirty-two to okay. fifty. How many? Fifty-two. Fifty-two. So twenty stars behind right now. But anything can happen. Anything can happen, you know, especially because we got two other kids. Yeah. I'll send, you a, I'll send you a picture of my specs as soon as I'm um, reaching that session so you can see how good it is. Okay. Yeah. You'll want to cry when you see it. You want to cry when you see it, okay? I did the slide kick way to get the water all star. Nice. That's Zion, definitely a safe way. <laughs> it's definitely a Thunder safer way to do it. That's a guaranteed way to get there. There's another faster way, and it's very, it's kind of consistent, but not really. Yeah. I'm always doing it, but I'm nervous. <laughs> so, it's a good thing to mention, the way that he starts off each each one of these stages where he goes to the top, he uh, long jumps into the wall, like, straight ahead of him from where he starts, and he dies into the mountain because it's so easy to clip into there. Yeah. And that'll throw him right up halfway to, up the mountain. And then he slope kicks up the side of a uh, of the mountain uh, even higher, and that gets him basically to the very top. Most people don't know how you do how you um, slope kick up the uh, up the slopes. You just simply hold you just simply hold jump and just and just rapidly pressing B. Yes. So I think. Get also, you, also the movement's very specific for for VGM for for, for uh, Tall Tall Mountain because you because there's a lot of invisible walls everywhere, so he's doing whatever he can to avoid all of them. Oh, invisible walls! How do yeah. You love oh yeah, that's something we haven't talked about. One really great thing about Mars Tour is that there are invisible walls ev in, in placed in weird locations. So uh, it may look like that you're doing something. You make it look like you're the right thing, but you'll just get trolled, and you can't do anything about it. Yeah, Place with the most invisible wall again. And uh, it's really good. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah we'll we be seeing. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a there's invisible walls everywhere in TikTok Clock as well. So 
Should I go this for the triple great. jump and rainbow rug? Are you gonna go for the triple jump and rainbow rug? You have time, this, man. You have time. This game is great. I don't know if I should do it. Yeah, you you do have a lot of time that you can waste with. <laughs> I could, but I don't want to waste it. I don't want to. True, maybe you should play it safe. Alright, so we have 10 minutes left now. Okay. What? Send me stuff if you want 20 stars, okay? I'll do 70 stuff. <laughs> and BGM does 120. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds safe, okay. I think I'm losing that match. <laughs> I don't know. We can see it. At the speed my game is currently running, you will probably still win. Oh my god, what's that? Nice sounds Probably. that BGM is making the right now. Alright, oh. we, yeah, we have nine and a half minutes, by the way. I'm so, falling. So, so, should we do another star update? Hey, what? Should no we do another star about. update on how many stars the, uh, both players have? Star update, guys. 34. 34? I have 55, I'm failing on Snowman, I'm losing 5. <laughs> oh, okay. so failing Snowman's land. Uh, Max, would you like to battle Snowman? No. I... Uh? <laughs> I can't... No, Snowman's land is awful. Well, I, don't, I, don't like I, don't like, I don't like... I don't like to talk about it. It sucks. See, see, I it's, like Snowman's it's so much because... can, It's so much cancer. There is... There's a giant bully that, that bullies you down to this like weird looking blue thing. I don't even know what it is, but it burns. It's and then there's, there's fire. There's cold, there's really cold water that even if you're swimming up to the surface, you lose your health. The igloo, is, the igloo has terrible camera angle. So, uh, okay, man. and then the snowman. The snowman is the meanest one of all. He blows you off the snowman. You lose your hat in the process and you have to get it back from a random snowman takes your hat. I went to the bully and you said you were hurting me. <laughs> you see, I like Snowman's Land because there's so many cool tricks that we'll be seeing from VGM, uh, including a really cool way to get on top of the snowman and um, imp impressive ways to do uh, some other tricks or some other stars, such as Wolf in the Freezing Pond where he just triple jumps over the edge of the level. Personally, for me, I also the little hundred coins in Snowman's Land sucks because it's so heavily RNG. Don't worry, we won't yeah. be seeing that. I hope. Right, BGM. Right. No, I'm definitely doing hundreds. The one that's oh, really, oh, okay, really cool. difficult without the vanish gap that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually think it's impossible to do without vanish gap. No, I did it without vanish cap and a bingo once because I thought. Oh, you, so you did. Dang. Well. Pff. I don't know where those coins are, so... Um, hey, I was gonna bingo with you. What's happening, Retro? What the hell is this? You can do it without, um, uh... You can do it without Vanish. Yeah. Oh, you can do it without Vanish. I've never done it without Vanish, so I would never know. It's really, it's really hard. There's, you can't really miss too many coins, though. I can That's imagine hard. that. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, right, so how's it going for our runners? How, how's your run going, guys? Um, bad? Oh dang! Yeah, that would have that would have really been really bad. Well, at least we're fighting Bowser now. Yeah, at least you're half at the halfway point. I, I, I just got the size. Barely, I survived. Very nice. Yeah. And okay, at least you're halfway. One of the unfortunate things about this version of Red DS is when you get a star mid in in the middle of a level, you don't you don't get your health back in this version. So it's kind of an, an unfortunate thing for this one. But now, oh, what else time? can you do? What's the time at? Uh, six uh, minutes. 20. Yeah, right. yeah, but six and a half minutes, maybe under that. Uh, I'm heading to Rainbow. Okay. Oh, now we're going so to now he's going to top floor with. Uh, we have TikTok clock and rainbow ride, and those two no! stages. Oh, okay. What? Which step? The red rope. Okay, yeah, I just died. Oh, oh you no. you got the red coin star at least, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, did you die during the Bowser fight? I tried to. Stop. Yeah, I threw oh. the um, Bowser with the bomb, but he just barely missed it. He dragged his tail and I hit him. Oh, oh darn. darn. Walk right in and gave him a big hug. Oh, and Max, you were talking about the um, TTC and Rainbow Ride, uh, but you forgot the hardest star in Upstairs, which is obviously the Toad Star. We don't want to talk about that one, though. But, any, but, but anyway, I, was, I wasn't done to, uh, explaining that before, before, the, before the, I didn't see that happen, but uh, uh, while, while both stages are really, fun, are really fun to do, in a speedrun, uh, 
unfortunately, mistakes can cause you a lot of time. You can. This is where the choking point happens in many runs. This is where you lose minutes on certain things. Yeah, and you, I can't tell. I can't tell you enough how many times the top runners lose runs to either one of these stages. It's it's brutal. By the way, five minute warning. One of the cool things I like about oh, one of the cool things I like about these 3D Mario games is because these these 3D Mario games are open world. There's a lot of opportunities for you to find really cool tricks and use them to your advantage. And it's a, what was that? Yeah, yeah, because these these all these games are are very open world. You can there's a lot of ways where you can find where you can find stuff and just use and use them to your advantage. And there's a lot of really cool things you can find in all three in all four of these games, which is what I, what I really like about all four of these games on the speedrun. I want to ask one thing to VGM. Did he do the triple jump at the beginning? I just died. On. Oh There's yeah, so what he's going for is a triple jump wall kick at the beginning. It's very precise, and it's something top runners do. But I never expected him to do it in a race like this. It's, e it's easy in DS. Oh, it's very easy in DS. You can just triple jump. Yeah, because in DS you get and you get a little bit of upwards momentum with oh uh, with your dives, so it's a lot easier to do. Something that we saw VGM do or are going to, he does cruise across the rainbow carpetless. By doing a wall jump. No, I'm not to doing it. that. No, not, not with the lack of Okay, he's backing out of it. No, I didn't do cruiser at all. Oh, you didn't that one either. Oh, thanks. Okay. But um, pretty, but pretty soon there's a, but pretty soon there's there's a, a pretty precise trick on on doing carpet This is a really hard trick where you just where you do a really stupid triple jump and a bounce with the lack of two. But um, it's really hard. But there's a much safer way of. Uh, 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 around that strat, uh, that's a little bit slower, but it still it saves a lot of ten, time than. 10, 15 seconds. Of it still saves a lot of time over the normal strat. Yeah, because Especially the carpet, the carpet moves really slow. Yeah. But, yeah. I, but I like the carpet though. The carpet's amazing. Nice. There's also a really cool way of doing triple triangles, uh, which, as a kid, I hated that star, so it's cool to see it get demolished. Yeah, and, and, I mean, and there's a canon way also to get triple triangles that lose three minutes. That's a cool way to get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So All where right. are, where are you right now, Retro? How are you doing? Uh, what dry roll? What dry roll? Nice. You're upstairs now. Yeah. With, with how many stars? 36. 36. 36. Okay. So, I mean, hey, good pace. I might, might be, you know? <laughs> Alright, so we, we have 2 minutes and, and minutes. 12 seconds left, so... I gotta wrap it up pretty soon. Looks like VGM's gonna be ending up in TCC. He's yeah, there's a, there. yeah, there's a... There's a good number of fast stars in up, on, on upstairs if you're looking for any fast stars, Rico. Yeah. So, are you in TTC right now, or are you still in Rainbow Ride, BGM? Well, I'm in TTC. Oh, yeah. you're in TTC? Oh, Alright. Are you gonna do the awesome, uh... Are you gonna get 100 awesome coins? coins? No. No man! I don't think we're seeing perfectless in this. Are you gonna do the sweet trick where you punch and fall the way down to the bottom of the clock? Ooh, I love that trick. How much time do I have left? A minute. Okay, I think I have enough time to do that. A minute and fifteen. You definitely have enough time to do that. That's a quick one. Okay, I definitely. Also, shout out to Imchin for. I watched doing this in every run. I, I don't do it in every run. I do it in bad. I do it in bad runs. I do it in every run because it's just so fun to see if you can get all the way down to the white part of the level. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> it, it loses time, but it's so but it's so cool. What you yeah. do? Oh, the, oh uh, I did. I clipped right onto the cage. Nice. I got oh. I did the. What you do when you uh when you grab the star with from get a hand? If you press A and B on the exact same frame, uh Mario will punch the wall and grab the star. And when you grab the star, you can't die. So you fall all the way down to the bottom of the level. Don't do it in dance. DS though. You actually do die. If you in get DS, a star. yes, they fix yeah. that in DS. <laughs> yeah. I saw there's you try it that there. once. There was there's something else in, in Rainbow Road. 
to be passed on it. Heard. Also, we have 15 seconds. Finish up, finish up, everyone. Alright, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Got it's it. time. time, everybody. I got it at one second. Oh, nice. Congrats, man. Alright. Final, um, final star counts. 68. Oh, God. 38. 38. Oh, boy. Alright, I doubled. Isn't my computer great, guys? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So. Galaxy 2 are pretty prime catch up. <laughs> once, so once again, we have a so once again, uh, radical race has, has a very significant lead, but um, but but uh, I think but, yeah. Um, so BGM is almost done. So um, we we so next time on the two four six relay, we will be getting the Mario Sunshine players in for uh, uh, to prepare to prepare them prepare themselves for, for this race, so... AI Which will be uh, Zelda Hunter for Team... What's... Uh, Radical Racers. Radical Racers, yeah. I showed off the 70-star BLJ. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I got it on first long jump. Nice. But yeah, so... So, I have been KJ04 before. M-Chan. Alright. And Video Game and Master 22 like and Retro Reviver. We'll see you guys all the next episode of the 246 Relay when we will shine happening oh, and at one thing, the midway one, points. One thing about the inventory is that the racers will get a chance to practice. Yep. For sure. I probably won't practice anyway, but that's probably just me. Mm. <laughs> I know, it's we'll days. see. You have two days and I'll be at work. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see you guys all in episode three. Bye, everybody. That'll be more lively.